welcome hi thanks for visiting the tech ark it youtube channel please consider supporting me by subscribing to this channel i love sharing knowledge however it takes a lot of my time and effort please join the channel so that you will get early access to the content and special courses only available for the joined members which are not available to the public if you are enjoying my content please spread the learning by telling your friends family and co-workers about the tech ark it youtube channel if you are looking for the training you can contact me on my email address a ravikumar48 at gmail.com are you looking for help in linux storage and monitoring related projects join our whatsapp and telegram groups links are in description below let's create our first virtual machine so in order to do that you can just click on the create vm and here you have to provide the vm id so which actually starts from the 100 and provide the name for the virtual machine and uh, next and uh, here you have to select the iso image it should already upload to the data store so you can select it and click next and uh, select the disk size and the disk path where you want to host this uh, uh, vm disk files and click next and uh, provide the cpus number of cpu cores uh, how many you want to allocate and uh, memory here you just provide how much you want to allocate memory and here click next and uh, okay so now uh, the vm is created here so it takes a little moment uh, to back it up the vm creation completed you can see that and uh, you can just start click on the start so it will you can click on the console so that it will open the console for that vm so it will use it use actually vnc so here uh, click on install centos 7 and now it loads the virtual machine data that uh, it's booting from the iso file So you should already download ISO file and upload the data source so that you can easily attach and select the keyboard language and click continue here. So which language you would like to utilize. Uh, so I'm utilizing the default English language. Continue. And here a moment and click on the date and time and assign the time zone which you are in. So the VM is loaded. Now we can click on the date and time and click on the region so so that it assign the time from that region. And you can see that installation is local media and software is minimal. And you can click on the installation destination and do the partitioning stuff. So you can do manually or automatically, whatever it is. But in this case, uh, I'm going to do it as a uh, automatic LVM stuff. So I don't want to create the partitions manually and uh, waste the time here. Okay, so let's click on the uh, installation for automatic partitions here. And select the minimal here and uh, click on. Uh, so say I will configure it, click done. Now click here to automatically configure the partitions and click done, accept the changes. So you can disable the K dump if you want, but uh, I'm switching on the ethernet configuration here. So I already have the DHCP on the VMware enabled so that it will automatically get the IP address. So assign the host name here for that. So whatever the host name you would like to assign here and click on the apply after giving the host name. So hostname is assigned, click done. 
now you can assign the security policy if you want but i don't want to apply any security policy here begin the installation and set the root password and click done so it should be strong enough and create another user in case if you want a admin user here so i'm creating the user and make this as an administrator and provide the password click done so that's it uh, it take a few moments to complete the installation uh, so it might take the longer time based on your uh, vm configuration what you have provided the memory cpu and the hard disk speed all this stuff okay so let's wait for a few minutes and you can come back to this the installation after this installation is completed it will ask you to reboot the virtual machine I can see now uh, it's almost completed so it is ready to reboot the installation is completed click on reboot button here so now VMA is going to reboot and it's loading back you can see Proxmark logo here and CentOS kernel and OS is loaded back so that's it the VM is creation successful and uh, CentOS is live up and running so you can just log into the virtual machine and verify the IP address and connect to that server using the putty or maybe you can do whatever you want so that's how you can basically create the uh, virtual machine on the Proxmox. For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications.